In this tutorial, we'll be talking about how to calibrate sensors. Go to the Sensors tab. In this tab, you'll have throttle position, coolant temperature, air temperature, mass airflow sensor, oxygen sensor, vehicle speed sensor, and your MAP sensor if you're using one. Now, right off the bat, you'll see that your air TPS in this example is on. And so that what that's telling you is your throttle position is not calibrated correctly. So go to Wizards, Set Throttle Range, and what this wizard wants you to do is let off from the gas pedal, click the Set TPS Volts Min button, it'll sample the voltage, take an average of it. Next thing, hold down the throttle, click the Set TPS Volts Max button, click OK, and now you'll see Air TPS is off. Another thing, coolant temperature sensors, air temperature sensor, mass airflow sensors, and oxygen sensors all have a lookup table corresponding to the calibration of the, of the sensor. Right now this coolant temperature sensor is set up for the Lotus, but if you ever wanted to install a different coolant temperature sensor, go to Wizards, Set Wizard, go to Sensors Coolant Temperature, let's say you want to put an AEM coolant temperature sensor in there, hit Apply, and you'll notice this curve right here slightly changes specific to that sensor. Another thing let's talk about is fail safes. So if you're putting back if you're putting a car back together and maybe you forgot to plug a sensor in, you don't necessarily want that voltage to correspond to a temperature reading or whatever that's way off and it's going to cause bad fuel trim. So for example right now you see that the air temperature is 2.5 volts which corresponds to 61 degrees and you'll see that right here in this table but if you unplug that sensor it's now going to go to 5 volts because there's a 5 volt pull up resistor and that would equate to somewhere around negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit which cause a lot of fuel trims that aren't necessary so in the air temp fail safe option we have it set to 77 degrees which is a pretty, pretty common temperature for all around driving Other things to note, O2 sensor, this is going to be a commonly uh, changed table here. If I double click on the title tab here, it'll maximize it. Now this is air fuel ratio versus voltage. And depending on what type of wideband O2 sensor you're using, they're going to come with a calibration table that you need to plug into this table here. So if I hit this little toolbar button here, I can switch this over to a table. Sometimes it's easier to hook up, a, uh, plug in all the information to a table view. So the top row here is voltage, so zero to all the way to five volts, and then the bottom row is uh, air fuel ratio. So just plug in whatever the manufacturer wants your lookup table to look like, and then that will calibrate that sensor. The last thing to look at is your vehicle speed calibration. So right now we have 18.8, this is just a gain value, and this calibrates the vehicle speed reading, which is found here, to the speedometer. But if you run a taller tire or a shorter tire, this is going to have to be recalibrated so the vehicle speed matches your speedo. So just try different values in here until they match up. And that's the sensors tab.